My name is Ralph James and I work here at the Met Office headquarters here in Exeter. And I work for the part of the Met Office called Observations. And what we do in Observations is that we um, gather all of the information that our forecasters would need to produce various forecasts. Uh, behind me you will see a fairly standard Met observing enclosure and today we're going to talk specifically about how we measure rainfall, its intensity and the amounts. And the first thing that we're going to look at is the very simplest of uh, rainfall measuring devices and we call it a 5 inch rain gauge. So what we have here is a 5 inch rain gauge. Very, very simple in operation. But what we have here is a very sharp edge and the distance between the two sharp edges across the diameter here is 5 inches. You'll see that there's a funnel within the rainfall drops into the funnel and then travels down this tube and is collected in a very, very simple glass bottle. In order to measure the rainfall, all we do is tip the rainfall into a graduated measure, like this. And then a simple process of simply looking at the amount of rainfall on the graduations there. And I'm looking at this now and I can see that since the last time this gauge was checked, we've had around about 3.2 millimetres of rain falling into this rain gauge. And what we have here is an automatic instrument, an automatic rain gauge. And we call this one a tipping bucket rain gauge. Essentially the principle is exactly the same in that we have a funnel in which the rainfall collects. At the centre of the funnel is a hole at the bottom of the hole is a tube and the water will be collected and passes down the tube. From the tube what happens is that it then reaches the switch mechanism and essentially what this is is a pair of buckets sitting on a seesaw. Each of the buckets will have rainfall falling into it and it will become unbalanced. Once the seesaw becomes unbalanced, you then have a, a movement which we detect with a small switch down at the bottom here. If you have a lot of rainfall, obviously there'll be a lot of tips. And each one of these tips we can measure, and each one of those tips equates to 0.2 millimetres of rainfall falling into the funnel here. So here at the Met Office, we've got yet more ways of determining whether it's raining or not, or whether the air is wet. And this instrument here is in fact a wetness sensor. Very simple, if the air deposits some moisture, say a raindrop, onto this instrument, we can measure the changes in the electrical characteristics and determine whether the air is wet or not. But a very interesting little story about this instrument is that it's heated. It's heated for a number of different reasons, but primarily to get rid of any water that's fallen on it. And we have noticed that birds do like to sit on here and warm their toes in winter. So, what we've done, we've tried to fit these little spikes to stop birds sitting on there. And the reason is, if they're sitting here warming their toes, middle of winter, and they happen to do what birds do naturally, then that bird poo is actually wet and it might confuse the sensor into thinking that it's actually rain. OK, so what we have here then is a present weather sensor. And present weather is obviously very difficult for us to measure. But this machine does it really quite cleverly. In this area here, the instrument is capable of detecting the rate of fall of droplets or particles falling in this area. It can measure the temperature as well. So if we think about this, and the temperature is above freezing, and we have droplets falling through this area relatively quickly, we might say that that was rain. If they were falling more slowly, we might think that would be drizzle. And if the temperature was below freezing, the droplets are falling slowly, let's make a guess and call that snow. <laughs> 